No ABS light either, which is weird, because that's normally always on too. Wow. I haven't even done anything and the car's fixed itself. I'm a fucking god. I, like, what? It's been 24 hours since I've owned this Evo and I have already nearly blown the engine. Uh, which is not entirely my fault, but it's okay. Basically, I've had to rely on the Valiant today to go out to the shop to buy some goodies to sort out what's going on here. Basically, coolant, almost damn near empty, even though I was told that it's uh, fine, which it probably is fine given like if we open this fucker up, it's gonna have coolant in there at the top, right? Fucking open, cunt. Jesus Christ. You know what, fuck it, just stay on. It'll be fine. Look, point is this is pretty much empty. Um, and the dipstick, like I'm, I'm no professional, but if I pull this bad boy out, I'm not a, a man of science or anything, but that tells me, can I see that properly? I mean, there's not a whole lot of oil on there, let's be real. So, um, if we could stay still, that'd be great. This thing wobbles like a madman. So, that side's oily or whatever, but uh, not the biggest fan of how dry that side is. So I'm not entirely sure how the oil situation is. It made me feel a bit uneasy. So I decided not to take this car out today and instead take the Valiant to do not only just some other IRL content that I'm secretly working on, which you don't need to worry about at the moment, but also to get some stuff. So we got some more coolant. We got some 10W50 Penrite oil, which is perfect for pretty much any high performance engine. Uh, some interior wipes just for later. Um, I've got to get a fucking hand vacuum just to clean the car out. And I've got like a new gear knob too. Um, carbon fiber, just cause it was there, it was on special, so why not? Now, um, just a quick update. I've been speaking to my mechanic Mao at Evolution R and he says uh, we can get the car back on E85 very easily within a day and service too. So I'll just do an oil top up today, take it to him when he's ready and get it serviced. The only problem I have is he needs me to check the ECU with my laptop, which won't work currently because the cable, I need a USB fitting and it's a, where is it? It's in here somewhere. It's one of these cables, here you go. It's a six prong, like, D DCI, whatever cable that is. So I need to go to JCAR and grab a six prong to USB cable adapter. Then we should be able to plug the laptop in and we're just hoping that there is no um, password locking the ECU out. So that way he can get in and we can have it flex tuned, three different tunes within a day, no problem. So we're looking at hopefully like a, a it'll, be, it'll be a full flex tune. So we can have any mixture between 98 octane and E85 petrol. So 98 octane is just for safety in case we are uh, in a shit situation. But basically once you're on 98 petrol, uh, sorry, once you're on E85, you don't go back to fucking petrol. Petrol is for bitches and pussies. So hopefully we can just sit on E85 permanently. There's a station about 20 minutes from me that will sell E85. It's expensive, but I don't plan on driving it every day, hopefully when I get my car back. Um, we're gonna, I'm, I'm hoping to get about three different tune settings. So like a low boost and a high boost, which is easy, just like maybe 20 PSI, then 24, 25, and just save that for when we go to the track and race and wanna smash it. And then maybe like a pop and crackle tune for a bit of fun, for those who don't know what that means. Basically, um, it'd get you in a lot of trouble if there's cops around, but you, um, when you take your foot off the accelerator, it sends a little bit of extra fuel through the exhaust, unburnt fuel, and that's what gives it that big pop, bang, gunshot. And if you have anti-lag, possibly flames out the exhaust, which would be awesome, but let's be real. Um, if we do that, we're gonna end up getting this car defected pretty quickly and inexpensive to fix. So. Um, but I'm thinking about getting a tune like that anyway for a bit of fun, but otherwise I'm just gonna, yeah, top up the fluids here today, then I'm actually gonna take it down to Jake, I'll give it a good run, because I, I just, I, I love it, I've gotta drive it again, um, and see what's happening. So there is an oil leak, which we were aware of, and I put a piece of cardboard under the car, because if you can see, I don't know if you can, the ca camera's gonna tilt, there's a bit of oil on the floor there. Um, the cardboard's dry, so, I'm gonna put it back for now. And it's just about figuring out exactly where the oil leak is, all this like fucking gashing, gonna get rid of this lip anyway. Um, it's just figuring out where the oil leak is exactly. I've noticed there's a dent in the intercooler there, which um, shouldn't be a problem at all, but it's not, not the 
not the nicest little bump. Obviously, someone's fucking hit something pretty hard. Otherwise, yeah, just top up the fluids, give the engine bay a bit of a wipe and a blowout, and we're good to go. So I'm hoping that this camera stand I have here is actually pretty fucking shocking, but good enough for me to just do some fluids and put some speed run music on quickly while I have a look through here. So fluids, shock, check the ECU, and then we can figure out exactly what's happening if we can get the tune done easily within a day. And if he services it as well at the same time, it's just a win, you know, it's a bonus. So I'm not gonna clean the engine, but I'm gonna do the fluids first in case I make a mess. First of all, we have, for those that are unaware of how this shit works, basically the general rule is whatever coolant you have in your car, you don't want to mix colors. I think these days usually it doesn't matter, um, but at the same time, it's just good practice to not mix fluids for your own health and safety. Um, normally there's only one type of blue, red and green, like all blue is blue, all green is green. It's just different sorts of chemicals in the way that the coolant um, breaks down. The way that, um, like we've got an aluminium radiator, so I think red coolant's meant to be best for that shit anyway, it's like extra long life shit, just different corrosive um, problems that you can get with different materials. So we take this off and I find that it's fucking pretty much empty. Thing is, I don't know how full I want to make it or not make it, you know? These fucking things are on tight, man. Jesus, the fucking seal. Um, it's, it's, there's like, there's no fucking coolant in there, you know? I put that in all the way, I pull it out. Look, it's literally just wet on the tip, that's it. The whole fucking thing was in there. Like, you know, that's the sort of shit I get from your mum, but that that's not wet enough, you know? At least with your mum, it comes out fucking drenched. So I'm just gonna put some, this is pre-mixed, because I'm not mixing my own fucking coolant, you're out of your damn mind. You think I'm mixing my own coolant? Just fucking open this, and if there's any underage people watching, which there fucking shouldn't be, um, same with your medicine cabinet. Go to your medicine cabinet at your parents' house, push the lid down, then twist, and that's how you get a hold of all the good stuff. So make sure you do that. Ah, don't use your teeth to open up things like coolant because, well, you don't want to consume it. And then hopefully, we don't make too much of a fucking mess pouring this bad boy in. I hope. Oh, beautiful, look at it go. Fucking red. I don't want to go too heavy either, obviously. Because even though the reservoir is low, doesn't mean the system is. Like that's already half full, you know? It's not a very big reservoir to be fair. But if I just put a tiny bit more in and leave it like that, we should be sweet. Like I don't need much at all. But now, and that's just fucking dripping everywhere. There was that much in there, now there's like easily, I don't know, I wanna say like that much. Not a very big tank. As you can see, it's very small, but that's how you do your coolant. Very fucking simple. And you're probably wondering, why the fuck am I showing, like, am I watching some dickhead put coolant in his car? Obviously, it must be some sort of like tax evasion, tax write off, move the camera, sorry. And you'd be exactly right. That's what this pretty much is. Making sure that we get the best bang for our buck when we spend money on this car because this isn't just my car, it's your car too, chat. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm doing this. I also just wanted to kind of showcase everything and pretty much let you know that, hey, there's no fucking oil in this engine. I think there's none anyway. So, I'm going to put uh, some oil in now. And we'll figure out exactly what's going on because I, I, I don't know about this fucking uh what's it called this dipstick like half of it is up but the other half is down again like there is no oil on that there I don't know how well you can see it on video but it, it goes like that's this full empty and then that's it's it's like halfway past the empty but on the other side it goes right up but I don't think Man, I, I, I mean, I should know this, but I don't, I, I'm pretty sure you want it to be above on both sides. Because the other side could just be wall shit, you know? It's just grabbing oil on the way up. So what we're gonna do is take the fuel cap off, which is really, actually that's really nice. Oh, damn. And, uh, yep, there's the cams, looks good. Put that there. Stick this bad boy in. It's got a nice little filter on it as well. 
probably don't need this to be honest. I'll twist that, just put it on like that. That's way better, I reckon. And it's fucking. The beauty about oil is that you don't actually have to push down on the lid to open it, so it's actually easy for the kids to get into. Fuck, this one's got a seal on it too. Mmm. That's got a real big seal. Oh, no, don't worry, my thumb just went through it. Beautiful. Alright, I was gonna say, you don't want to use your teeth opening this shit. You don't want oil in your mouth, that's the last thing you fucking want. So now we're just gonna pour, I don't know how much I need, I really don't. So I'm gonna wing it and put a decent amount in there. This is really thick oil. You don't need 1050. Uh, 10 W50 is really for high performance vehicles that um, produce a lot of power and operate at really high temperatures. Typically, um, in, your mo in most cars, you just use like 0 W30 or 5 W30. Depending on where you live too, how cold it gets, how hot it gets. I don't know a whole lot about oils and the viscosities of them and everything. I'm not the, the biggest uh, whiz on them, but I know for a fact that that should be more than the appropriate amount of oil for now, especially if I'm gonna get it serviced re relatively soon. Just gonna give that like 30 seconds to hit the bottom, pull the dipstick out and have a look, then we'll give it a blowout. Give it a wipe. I've got like some all-purpose cleaner because I can't find actual engine bay cleaner anywhere. Give it a wipe and then uh, take it for a spin into town. And then I just got back from town. It's about a 20 minute drive to the shop. That will give me a cable hopefully to read the ECU. Then we can figure out what's happening. The other thing is, is um the headlights. Now these, I actually need to check these headlights real quick. I'll check with the camera. There needs to be some sort of silver box under the headlamps, but I can't see them to figure out if they're HRDs or not. Because it's an import from Japan, I don't think we have one, which would tell me that they're not HID. There's a bit of fucking cardboard there, cunt. What? <laughs> All right. So I'm thinking that they're not HIDs because um, I want to get new headlamps. I just need to figure out whether I want standard headlamps or I want to get aftermarket ones. But you can have legal issues with them slash um, they're a pain in the ass to fit sometimes. But um, I'm in a pretty decent uh, Evo group on Facebook that's Got a, they got some pretty good people in there that know what they're doing and sell their own products. So if I can buy a local even, that'd be great. Um, something that's highly rated. So the only problem now when you put fresh oil in is it's fucking clear. It's not black. So you can't see a fucking thing. And we have more oil, considerably more oil. I don't know if you can see, it's actually at the, the low line now. So there is more oil in there. But personally, not enough. Definitely gonna put more in. The fact that it's uh, going up, it's probably a good sign that I didn't drive it today. I mean, it, was, it wouldn't have blown, I don't think. Not at this rate, but it would have been fucking far off it, which is a little bit annoying considering I was told that the oil's okay and whatever, but I don't blame the guy at the end of the day. It is what it is. Like I said, there's a good chance we get it serviced within the next three to four weeks anyway and it's all going to be replaced. We just need enough to keep it ticking over, make sure that it is good to drive. That's the main thing. Mm. Fucking love it though. I love it. Fucking favourite cars, these. Favourite affordable cars, anyway. And we are given... Yeah, see, that's halfway to full now. That's good. On that side, it's actually at full, but on this side, it's about, yeah, halfway up. Fuck yeah, that's what we're talking about. My boys. Shit, just fucking flicking it everywhere. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put that back in, seal this, and put this back on like that. That's on tight. I'm gonna get a cover. Here's, let me know what you guys think. Um, they're sold out at the moment, but I'm thinking about getting a, I want to get a cam cover here because this is just ridiculous. Um, just like carbon fiber, you know, try to push these in a bit and try to make it less open because it, you know, having an opening there kind of sucks, but I do like the red. So I'm thinking red and black, red and carbon fiber combo in the engine bay is nice. You got a problem with that? Don't care, didn't ask. So let me go put all these away quickly. I've got the air compressor set up, so I'm just going to give it a quick blow, get all this dust off real quick. 
Some heavy duty multi purpose professional strength cleaner uh, from Megasaurus. Honestly, no idea if it's any good, but it's the only thing that was even remotely like engine bay. I know that you could probably use anything anyway, but if it was at least considered safe on the bottle, that's good enough for me. Pretty basic shit. So I just want to give it all a wipe down, um, give it a good spray, you know, and just get any extra grime and grease. Look at that fucking hell, that comes out actually really nice. I don't know if you can see it from there, but fuck me, boys. That red. A nice shine. I'm going to have to repaint this one day, for sure. But, I mean, let me see if I can see the screen. That's got a nicer shine to it already, as opposed to, like, you know, that. So, take, remember what that looks like. When I spray that, same with the bar. When I spray that, just remember how it looks now, because that shit's going to fucking shine. Easily, I need to get a better stand. I don't know where my tripod is for the camera, so if the angle for the camera is really bad for this video, my apologies. I'll uh, I'll work on it in the future. If the angle for the camera is really bad for this video, my apologies. It looks fucking nice. I do like this a lot. I'm gonna spray a bit on here. Get right in this fucking gap. Yeah. Yeah. Smells good too, which is always a bonus. Leaking cunt, what the hell? It's all fucking leaking on my bumper. What the fuck? The hell, YouTube? It's leaking out the bottom. There's a fucking crack in it, look at this. There's a fucking hole in my bottle, look. What the fuck? How the f did I do something? Was that me? I don't think so. It's ridiculous. Fucking 20 bucks down the drain. I better be quick. Damn. Give me a nice fucking wipe. Shit. Oh, it's real grimy in here. Fucking hell. I have to get a new spray bottle and pour it all in there. Get rid of this one, I think. What do you think? Do you notice a difference? I mean, it's only going to be shiny until it's dirty again, but... Inside there, it's just, that's actually really fucked. What I might do is when I do the spark plugs at some point, I'll clean in there then. or get a cover, but... Elsewhere for now, should be really fucking nice and clean, which is what we want. Bit of a spray down there quickly. Alright, I need to find a new bottle for this bottle because it's just fucking soaking my hand at this point. Even better, not a new bottle because I don't have one. Super glue the cunt, easy. Give that a sec, should be good to go. But, otherwise I'm pretty happy with uh, how this has kind of turned out, you know? Just a quick clean, nothing serious. Um, Cause I need to run to the shop and grab uh, grab that cable so we can check the ECU. I don't know why it would be password protected. I really hope it's not. But I mean, if it is, he probably just has to do a hard reset on the whole thing, which is probably really difficult, but who knows. Otherwise, moment of truth. Looks like it's holding, beautiful. Um, that's the car at the moment. <sighs> right. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I'm just going to check the oil one more time and start it up and take it out to, um, the shop and grab what I need to grab for the cable and then, uh, bring it back. I've got, yeah, what I was just, I'll show you what I've got here. Um, this shifter I'll put on at some point. I don't know when. And uh, just some basic interior wipes when I need to, um, just in case I need to, you know, if I shit my pants or something, we can wipe it up pretty easy. So I'll start it up. Actually, I haven't even started it for you boys yet, have I? Fuck it. Here you go. Let me double check the oil one more time, and then I'll give you guys, give you guys a sound check. Yeah. See, she's at the full line now. Really good. Really fucking good. I'm happy with that. She was low as fuck before then, which is good for us. That means we know it's good now. The only thing is, and it's like a, it's really a non-issue, but you never know, is that what if 
Is that does that mean more leak? I would assume not. I don't even think the leak's coming from the engine. I think it. Uh, I hope it's coming from the engine because it's easier to fix and maintain. But it's like where the leak is isn't where the engine is. But I don't know. It could just be running. Who fucking knows? But let me start the car. Classic Japanese import key and what's it called? Immobilizer system. Turn it on. Boys, boys, boys. Let the pump run. Pump done running. So the um, the three lights here, tarmac, um, snow, gravel. Uh, I always leave it on gravel. Um, but sometimes all three lights come on. It hasn't actually happened since I've had the car. Bit of a bit of Kendrick Lamar. So the reason um that's gonna copyright the video now. <laughs> the three video uh, sorry, the three dots there. Um if the pump fails, they all three will come on. It might happen just as we start driving, but since I've had the car, it actually hasn't done it. So I don't know, but we'll also have the ABS light here. So if I turn the motor on, turn it on, go fucking Might die here for a sec. There you go. So it idles really high. Um, I've got a button on here. It's got a variable or variable exhaust. So if I press B, the car's a lot quieter now. You know, you probably can tell. I don't know if you can for, with the mic, but if I press A again, there's a valve inside the. Uh, shut up. There's a valve inside the muffler that changes, but basically. Um, no ABS light either, which is weird, because that's normally always on too. Wow. I haven't even done anything and the car's fixed itself. I'm a fucking god. I have, like, what? All the errors are gone, I haven't even done a scan yet. So, um, I'm gonna let this warm up for a bit anyway before I take it for a drive, because the thing is with 10W and 50 oil is that it's really thick, um, both when cold and warm, and you don't want to drive until it's warm thick. Um, Otherwise, you're just going to have problems. It does idle really high. It idles at about 1400 RPM, which is huge. Like, that's massive. It should be doing 700 to 900 RPM, roughly. Um, I can actually change that myself on the laptop when we get the cable done, but depending on when Mal can take it and tune it, um, I might just leave it for him. But in the meantime, I will run to the shop, grab the cable, and be back with you guys in just a moment. All right, update. Um, I just went into J car it's where I am now they don't have the cable for this it's uh, it pretty much doesn't exist unless you buy the official one from G link um, and I just got off the phone to Mao as well it's Wednesday night uh, Wednesday afternoon now he says bring the car around Friday and provided it's not locked he can just tune it then and there for E85 um, and I can have it running flex fuel it's gonna cost anywhere between 1100 to 1400 bucks he reckons depending on how difficult it is, I've got to take my own uh, ethanol and shit up there, but uh, yeah, um, so I'm seriously considering just doing that right now, because why not get it done, get it tuned, get it sorted, he can make sure it's safe, it's smooth, it's running, and then we have flex available, we can then store it, fucking like, why not, <laughs> so um, yeah, unfortunately no cable, I'll have to order one online anyway. Apparently he says it's like a special cable you need, which makes sense because the prongs don't even make sense to what the uh, normal six din is. Um, so yeah, take the car back home and we'll do a whole new video on Friday for getting it flex tuned at this rate. See how we go. Interesting. Oh well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Car runs great, fucking beautiful. Love it, sounds good. Ready to go. This is the easiest room in the road. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn! Fuck me, look at that boy. It's huge! You got a big boy.